Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Go to video. DDDs. Um, as I uploaded a video like a few days ago about DDDs, they are getting more support, new support, but still there is no sign for us TCG players when we are getting that O or at least those uh, OCG exclusive cards for us here in the TCG. But uh, anyway, new cards like uh, Thomas, for example. Um, a very nice card, although currently a one-off in the deck. Yeah, this is my build for the moment, so feel free to leave suggestions down below. Also got a few um, yeah, helpful, helpful tips from subscribers in my previous video, so thank you for that. I adjusted, I adjusted my build, made some changes, so this is currently my list. But again, feel free to leave uh, opinions down below. Thomas is, I think, perfectly fine at one in the deck. Um, you can't really rely on it too much. Much, but uh, it's just in the deck to maybe search for it or send it to the grave with something like uh, your Copernicus uh, to have it as an option but uh, something like Meteor Burst as well yeah, both Meteor Burst and uh, Thomas don't really go well together since your uh, Copernicus asks, or at least because of your, yeah, because of your Thomas, you need to have a phase of Pendulum Monster in your Pendulum Scale, while your Meteor Burst will most of the time special summon your Ragnarok, and that that doesn't work together. So if you if you're not able to go for Meteor Burst, Thomas is an excellent option. But if you don't have access to Thomas, Meteor Burst is a, a very nice addition to the deck. Other than that, Triple Copernicus. Some people aren't re running Copernicus, I find it strange. Um as I said before, the deck is very hard to run since it has so many combos, so many possible plays you can do. It's it's so so difficult. Um, it's 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 very hard to play. But uh, Copernicus opens up a lot of plays. It's it's it, uh, extends your plays by sending, for example, um, a slime from your deck to the grave or whatever to set up more plays. It's level four, so just in case if you have something like Lilith, which I still like in the deck, Lilith to make sure or at least yeah to get back something from your extra deck, for example, it opens up uh, a rank 4 exceed play go for caesar for example um I, I still like it i still like it um where are though immediately searching out something like a lamia uh, i think it's needed and the damage can uh, turn itself into life point gain thanks to your oracle king but um yeah other than that i think uh, um i can just showcase uh, the deck here in a few uh, combo videos uh, so let's see the first example Alright, uh, first game, just again, showcasing the deck, the possible uh, combinations you can do. I made some minor uh, adjustments here. The, the, the change I've made uh, in previous, uh, yeah, in comparison with my previous video, is that most of the time I went for Ark first, Oracle King, but I think it's better, at least uh, it's better to go for that uh, Genghis, the level 6 one. And eventually, um, at least most importantly, that you have to keep in mind is don't use your Genghis, your level 6 fusion, immediately. Wait until the, uh, wait until the end uh, if you really have to and eventually thanks to Genghis um, yeah, reborning your Lamnia eventually you can establish a very nice field to go for that rank 8 exceed play thanks to my Thomas eventually special summon or at least yeah pop my own Ragnarok and special summon another Ragnarok from my deck opens up a rank 8 exceed play most of the time you're going for that tank galaxy and thanks to Lamia, you can also make Crystal Wing the level 8 synchro here. Um, also have that uh, negator for my um, yeah, for my DD monster. What is it called? I forgot its name. But uh, eventually I can attack for a uh, game. So GG. Uh, next duel again showcasing the possible combos you can do. So normal summon Kepler. Kepler searching out the uh, fusion cards. Um, where are though? For Lamia, go for again Genghis level 6 one. Put Ragnarok in my scale. Go for Alexander. Also a very important tutor. Um, yeah, I think it was uh, Alexander indeed. Reborning Lamia and eventually again reborning another Lamia. At least the same Lamia with Genghis. So that's very very important. Just wait with your Genghis until the end. And eventually you can reborn another Lamia. Go for a meter, uh, yeah, meter Dragon to reborn your level 6 Ragnarok. Ragnarok also triggers reborning a monster from your grave. So eventually um, the, the deck DDDs have, uh, they have a high ceiling. I mean, they have a lot of possible plays. Uh, they can make, uh, establish a big field. But it's it's getting to that big field. That That's the hardest part. Since it, you have, again, so many plays you can do. 
so many possible uh, combos you can do with the deck. It's it's astonishing. But uh, if you do it right, you can special summon at least you can establish a very nice or a very big field. So go for Oracle King, go for Crystal Wing eventually, and then use my um, my Thomas indeed to pop my own Ragnarok in the scale and eventually go for a rank eight Exceed play. So I can establish a decent uh, field of my uh, Crystal Wing that can negate monster effects and both my um, yeah both my other monsters so both uh Siegfried and uh, my Titanic Galaxy can both negate spells. Well, Siegfried can negate traps as well. But um, yeah, that's, that's definitely the power, um, the, the biggest advantage of your DDDs. Uh, easy, uh, very easily establishing a big field and still have follow a place in your grave depending on your uh, cards or choices you've made previously during your own turn. Um, Anyway, uh, next game, and with the same hand as you see, but um, I think uh, this is a better option. So I'm, I'm sacrificing my Crystal Wing, so not going for Crystal Wing in this scenario. Um, but I can establish another uh, field with Omega getting back one of the slimes, um, Siegfried as well to negate a possible spell or trap from the opponent, and um, um, what's it called? No, uh, Titanic Galaxy indeed to negate a possible spell from the opponent. And I think the biggest advantage of this is that you still have, uh, yeah, you, you, you can again uh, go for a uh, fusion play during your own turn thanks to your necro slime and you still have your uh, full extra deck available so meteor burst is still in your extra deck so that's why i think this field was better than my last field again with the same hand previously uh, another example and uh, again thanks to your slime eventually you can go for crystal wing as well searching out my uh, thomas yeah this combination i saw uh, online um I forgot where I saw it, but uh, it's again a very nice uh, combination you can do. Eventually you can end with your uh, Siegfried again, uh, also ending with Crystal Ring and the Titanic Galaxy as well. And set my Twin Twister just as a bluff, maybe Solon Strike, yeah, bluffing the strike as well. But uh, I think he made a misclick earlier, searching out the Joker. Wouldn't have mattered that much if you went for something like Sorcerer um, or maybe yeah, Wolf or whatever to make Ignister. Still have my Crystal Wing to negate Ignister. That's the most important important thing just keep your crystal wing just in case if they go for a canister uh, last game again showcasing the possible combinations you can do and uh, this is also a very nice field you can pump out so eventually again wait as long as possible with Alexander and Genghis as well so now uh, Alexander triggers reborning Lamia and now eventually uh, reborn Lamia a second time with Genghis the go for meteor burst to special summon my at least my Ragnarok from the scale it triggers eventually fusion summon for the level 8 one go for, yeah, go for rank 8 exceed play and end my turn with uh, oracle king as well so now all damage uh, from effects turn into life point gain here very crucial tell he activates his domain which i'm going to negate and put as an exceed material to titanic galaxy that tells me is one of his cards in his hands uh, is a mega monarch or big monster either erebus or the aether so i have to negate his uh, mithra here with my crystal wing other uh, otherwise he would have been able to like uh, go with the chain links and thanks to return bypass my uh, crystal wings negation effect so that's something that uh, was very crucial and this is more than enough more than enough to attack for a game um so yeah okay this is going to my deck list again feel free to leave uh, suggestions triple twin twister is important to clear the back rows I mean, uh, in this uh, video, I only showcased uh, duels, combinations, but uh, again, if you don't open, uh, having something like Twin Twister is important to get rid of your opponent's uh, back row, mainly Solemn Strike, right? But uh, as for the rest, I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. I'm probably going to drop that new uh, uh, Covenant uh, spell that new uh, dark con contract spell from the deck it's not really too great um, from what i can see unless i'm missing something of course also drop the baphomet from the main deck um, it's 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 maybe it's just a win more card you want to have other cards to go for your bigger fields of your uh, level uh, 7 uh, your level 8 synchro plays and also your rank 8 exceed plays i think a bit more important than going for baphomet Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.